so this is arrowverse on my redmi note 10 so after talking much about all the custom rooms i think i will give the full package room to you all so you don't know me let me introduce myself my name is Arab and you're watching Atria Creators YouTube channel. So let's so start. So first of all, I would like to talk about the smoothness and what do you say, benchmarks of this room. So I will firstly start from the smoothness. So you can see that this is purely having the without, it is not offering much of the customizations, but yeah. So if I generally open any application, closes it, there is no stutter lag that you can found. There were, there were might a stutter or lag you will found out but in consideration to another rooms and you can't get any of the lag starter so ever in this room you can see that i'm scrolling over the qs panel or opening uh, what do you say settings and closing anything i haven't faced any issues so far and now let's talk in terms of what you say customizations that we are getting so customizations part is like that if you go on the system you get that gestures in the gestures you will get might a few customizations over there not much customization or what do you say not much customization centric room is arrow OS, but yeah arrow is is being famous for providing better stability better battery and what do you say better performance in terms of custom roms so talking much more about the customization so we know that there is not much customizations available but we can now forward to see that what is I about like the to start with the uh, 3d mark benchmark application i have run this test so far and you can see that this is the slingshot extreme test and you can see that here's some of the scores of that we got a best fps of 454940 in this and this is a slingshot extreme test in this test the device getting hotter in the cold month also so you can see that this is the scores as far as you can see this now talking much more about the battery i have took the all the battery details and you can see that my battery usage i haven't you if getting any sort of what do you say low battery or not i have to repeatedly charge the, my phones but yeah charging is not super fast but yeah 33 watt is little bit working but i can recommend this room over the battery usage my because my battery is good so you can recommend this room to you all now talking about much people ask me about the l1 certification we do get an l1 certification over this in this room because if we not get l1 certification we can't stream netflix and prime in the full hd content and now let's forward to talk about what we are getting in terms of hdr capabilities or not we are getting or not so so Talking about the HDR capabilities of this room in the Netflix, we are not getting HDR capabilities, but we are getting Wideband L1 certification as far as you can see in this room. Now talking much more about, let's see the Geekbench scores that we are getting in this room as forever. And you can see that I have took these scores multiple times and you can see the scores were different so far. I am using this room. You can see that I, I have flashed this room on January 9th and you can see this. The single code is 531 and multi code is 1585, which is not being taken without any performance profile. And this is where the all other results from different times you can see that. Now, talking about what do you say, CPU throttling test, I did run also, and I would like to see you these also. This is the CPU throttling run for 15 minutes that I have run when I firstly. Uh, flash this room but uh, you can see that 86 percent is being throttled maxly and i have also run it, it with the performance optimization profiles and you can see that it gave out 95 percent means slightly increase of in terms of cpu throttling is given out in this custom room and the optimization profiles is working so good this is some of my battery screen on time you get eight hours plus battery screen on time so you can see this and uh, idle drain is of 2% you can see in this room now talking much more about the safety net i do run the safety net status and it does passed so you are not getting any issues over the safety net status now this is all for the talking about the benchmark i have checked all the applications that the performance you are getting in this room is so far as i can see so now let's see what's the settings overview that we are getting and is there any bug sort of 
or not available in this room so talking about network internet setting i have been using this quite a few couple of days i haven't faced any issues so far and network internet doesn't consist of any sort of bugs in the application support you get almost every application like you are also getting the parallel space in this room with the default apps you can see that there is a arrow s launcher and this is all where those mentioned already talked about optimization profile you can enable it from here this is all we're working and this is the battery manager and i already talked about battery icon style is being there nothing more to talk about the we are not getting any sound me sound enhancer as far as i see and the display section is also no issues that you are getting all customizations and settings were normal not a customization centric room but yeah performance centric room and and talking about fingerprint and face i do check fingerprint and you can see that fingerprint is instantly unlocking my device but if you ask me about fingerprint already done i am talking and the face unlock there is a bug that i can't register my face in the face unlock so you can't register your face in the face unlock so it is been very bad to see but yeah it's a bug now talking about everything let's move forward to system we can see that there is a languages and input support over there you get the app languages option but i can see not much application languages support is there so that's might be upgraded after few updates you are getting official updater but i would get to tell about i would not going to tell that please update to this updater i would only recommend you to flash manually for better usage and better performance manually and here is these all the settings and if you ask me about the what do you say built specific details this is the android version 13g apps version that i have been using in this and you get to see this beautiful android 13 easter egg so far which i love to see now talking about we get the android security update of january 5th 2023 and the kernel version is net kernels with you can see that the build date is monday january 9 and cet is 2023 now much more talking about this should i recommend this rom to you all yes i can highly recommend this rom to you and everything does passes you can run your banking apps without any issues the banking apps will, uh, if you have lot of money in your bank account i would not going to recommend this rom to you but if you have little much you can try out for the gaming i think you can try out because optimization and throttling performance of the processor for this room is too good 95% for 15 minutes is according to my thing is better now uh, i am fully recommend this room but if you don't have issue with the face unlock then you can try out and if you have any sort of issues you can't I can't say you to use that. Now talking about how to get installed this ROM. So first of all, you just need to unlock your bootloader of your Redmi Note 10 device, and secondly, you have a flashed OFox recovery in your Redmi Note 10, and then you can flash this ROM via zip, and just do wipe cache and Dalvik cache and format data, and just reboot this device. It will get rebooted, and you have done. If you think you can flash the latest MIUI firmware of this. uh device so this is all for now if you really found this video interesting and you can think that if you really liked it so give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to channel for more infos so thanks for watching my videos till then we'll meet in the next video